We pit two Minecraft developers against each other to rethink the very nature of Minecraft's most iconic mob, the Creeper. All right, let's take a look at the first Creeper, the Creepier Creeper. Our first developer liked the idea of taking the original Creeper and improving every aspect of it individually. This means that its explosion, its hiss, and even its gunpowder have all been taken one step further. Can't wait to see what our devs have done here. A lot of battle items, so I'm looking forward to seeing what sort of skirmish we might find ourselves within. All right, let's go ahead and place down one of the original Creepers so that we can get a comparison when we place down the creepier creeper next to this guy. Get a look-see. Oh boy, yo, that thing is incredible. If players thought that creepers blended in before, now they might not even realize that what they thought was a harmless tree is a complete mob ready to rock their world. It looks just like a dark oak tree. Yo, look at that. It looks like, hey, leave me and my son alone. <laughs> oh, he scared off the child, actually. Now, hold on a second. Does this thing still blow up? Well, I know I'm in creative mode right now. That might have something to do with it, but... Oh boy, something just happened. <laughs> but what's this? Suddenly, the player is is surrounded by TNT. Not good. Players may find themselves flailing as they try to survive, only to find out it's perfectly harmless. Of course, unless the player lets themselves get distracted by the TNT for too long. What is that about? Actually, what happened? There, there's no explosions. What just occurred? Oh boy. Well, there's more of these. I don't know if it's a glitch or not. No, it looks like they don't blow up. Weird. Okay. How about in survival mode? See if the dynamic changes at all, huh? All right, so the little one wants the tussle, but the creepier here seems to not be much of a threat. I mean, you might get a couple splinters battling him, but apart from that, oh, <laughs> well, looks like that creeper actually managed to help us. Well, now that I know these fake TNT don't deal damage, I'm not as concerned. But how about this gunpowder? I'm curious if the Creepier has different kinds. All right, let's see what kind of drop you've got, Creepier Creeper. There we go. There, huh? Oh my gosh, what is... Those of them that celebrate too soon will find themselves blindsided by the many small explosions left behind by the Creepier's brood. I couldn't even see what was happening at first. What is that magnificence? By including this, the developer doubled down on the fact that the Creepier is known for its iconic explosions and destruction by giving players the chance to experience a higher quantity of explosions and demolition. That was beautiful, except on the count of like, there's nothing but Creepers around now. We might be in some trouble getting that gunpowder. Okay, navigate around, not a problem. Uh, okay, some of them are blowing up. Oh boy, no, that's not what... Okay, well, I don't exactly know what happened with all the fire flames over here, but I'm pretty sure the gunpowder we got from that creepier earlier is safe and sound somewhere nearby. See, there it is, right there. Check it out. Placeable gunpowder. The developer took the gunpowder we know and love as the main way to make explosions and decided to make it even more explosion. No way. That sounds awesome. Let's see how it works, huh? Just like redstone dust. Incredible. Dude, we can make some fuses with this thing. I've got an idea. Let's grab ourselves a flint and steel. And now we can give this a light. Check it out, baby. Explosions ahoy. Boom. All right, look at that. Oh, it's lining up nice. Little baby explosions. That is adorable, actually. Hold on. Sheep, did you see that? It was beautiful. Nah, he doesn't care. Hold on. Let me get you a little bit closer, my friend. There, now you've got a much better view. <laughs> Let's see if we can blow up this sheep. Huzzah! Boom! It, it didn't do anything. All right, let's see what else we can do with this placeable gunpowder, huh? Oh, whoa, hey, I can stack it up and make piles. Not only will the improved gunpowder, like the improved creeper explosion, behave more realistically and have more impact on its own rather than just as a crafting component, but players can also stack gunpowder on top of itself to create a larger and wider spread blast. I wonder if this changes how the explosion works. Okay, let's find out. Light you, and with any luck, maybe something happens here. Oh, hey, we might be onto something. Oh, we got some redstone for our trouble. I'm not gonna ask questions. We've got explosives right now. Sheep, bear witness. It's time for the blast. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> awkward. But there's one more thing we need to do. I want to see what happens when the creepier explodes. Oh. My goodness. The developer wanted to take the creepers' explosions themselves and give them a stronger impact. Now, players caught in the creepiers' explosion will find themselves thrown back by its incredible shockwave and disoriented by the loud, concussive, and flame particle filled force that ejects flying debris, damaging and even blowing up the environment on its own. 
That is definitely the explosion we saw earlier. The carnage here is mad. Fire, huge block destruction. I even saw some of them adhering to gravity. Incredible. But apparently there's even one more thing that we still need to figure out with this creepier creeper. Apparently these creepiers can interact with certain mobs, in this case the skeleton, to cause what looks like a dance party. If a skeleton manages to drop a creeper to its last heart, it will instead spark a wild dance party filled with crazy effects. Things like color changing floors that feature all sorts of particle effects and shifts in the music score. I, uh, not sure what to make of it, but I'm uh, not necessarily upset. Oh, nope. well, it looks like the creepier didn't like the dance party. Must have not played uh, its favorite song or something. <laughs> That's the last time I give you the aux cable. And as you saw, we got a bunch of cool loot for our trouble. I hope I run into more creepiers. <laughs> In the meanwhile, though. Okay, I'm curious to see if the dance party changes at all, if it's the same every time. Right now, we're looking quite similar. They don't look too enthralled to be here, but hey, at least I'm about to get me some free gold blocks. Oh, and he's dead again. You know what? Maybe you should just give up your dream skeleton of being a dancer. It's not gonna happen. Overall, a very interesting dynamic, this creepier creeper. Lots of explosions, lots of loot, and a really cool block model. Let's see what else we've got in store. Now, right before we get to this next creeper, I wanted to point out this otherworldly landscape around us. I imagine it has something to do with our next developed wonder. Apparently, this one is called the Stalker Creeper. While the first developer enhanced Minecraft creepers as we know them, our second developer decided to lean in on one aspect that the creeper was associated with. How scary it is. Goodness gracious, I am looking forward to seeing what this one's about. Hopefully the battle's a little bit easier than the last one. But I have learned my lesson. We're gonna go ahead and spawn this guy a little bit further from all the chests all over the place. That's probably the best idea. Oh, look at you! Starting off strong, the stalker solidifies its status as a scary mob off of its uncanny resting look alone. Holy moly, that thing is intimidating. Still is a rock. Oh, oh, well, maybe I spoke too soon. Stalkers will occasionally teleport closer and closer to the player. This means that once a player is being targeted, the player and the stalker will clash at some point. It looks like it doesn't move except for when it teleports sometimes. Come here, little guy. You see, he can't. He's oh, uh -huh. Well, you know what? I am glad I'm in creative mode. Why don't we see what the stalker looks like against its creeper cousin? Oh my goodness, quite a size difference. Oh wow, walking away in shame. Look, creeper, you're perfectly fine. The stalker is a different story, but I think I'll probably take you out anyways. I don't want to deal with two of you guys. Oh goodness gracious, what is that thing doing? Hold on a second, is it like smiling at me? Players will know that they're in danger when it's on the prowl, revealing its jagged row of teeth and true creeper head within, seemingly ready to consume a player's soul. Yeah, he's up to something with his mouth over there. I'm not a fan, but as long as you don't move, I think we should be perfectly fine handling that creeper back there without this guy stepping in and causing any problems. All right, let's regroup. How do we, oh my gosh, did you see that behind me? I think I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this guy. If you can, uh, no, oh gosh. Dodge the expl, wait. Whoa, there's more explosions going on. Uh. The stalker, unlike the vanilla creeper, survives its own explosion. While it seems like this just allows the stalker to blow up more, this, plus a scaled back explosion, turns an encounter with this creeper into a longer, drawn out, fear inducing process. Come on, come on, this is a. Uh, well, at least. It, uh, no, you must be joking me. It didn't die? It explodes and still stays. Uh, oh, just kidding. It's fine. You're totally good to stay alive. Just get away from me. I need to keep some distance between me and this stalker. We look to be nice and safe up here. Perfect. Ah. Uh, Ha, uh -huh, see, he can't reach me up here. You fool! I still have my bow and arrow handy as well. There you are. Handled. <laughs> can't reach me up here, stalker. Oh, oh gosh! I don't know if this is gonna go as well as I had planned. Explosions keep occurring. I don't even know what to do here. You know, I did see a village nearby. Maybe we can take advantage of the cats there. Hey, villagers, where are your cats? I, hey, why are you attacking me? What is happening? When in the presence of the stalker, any nearby mobs will make the player feel helpless. This is because the stalker can temporarily infect mobs near the player, causing them to turn on the player and attack them. This makes it so that the player has no one and nothing to find comfort in. 
guys, what was that about? A little unprofessional. Should you be trading or something? Oh gosh, I think the stalker's turning them against me. And this guy's got some serious power on you. Take it easy, my friend. I don't have any emeralds anyways. How are you even attacking me? What, are you just bumping your arms into me? Absurdity. I'm a little nervous now. I thought I could at least go to the village for some reprieve. Actually, he looks like he's doing a little bit better now. But meanwhile, I gotta figure out how to handle the stalker still. I don't know how to uh, kill this guy. He just keeps getting closer and closer, and I've dealt so much damage at this point. Oh, great, and now we've got more company. It never ends. Come on, villager. I didn't want to have to kill you. Oh, you must be joking. Really? Even the cow's turning against me. I don't have a single friend in this world. I'm sorry, Betsy. You've got beef. I need to take care of it, all right? You too. No exceptions. It's gotta happen. Now, listen, listen. I'm not even hungry. I just want to stay away from this guy. Oh, boy. It's like he's hearing me. You stay back. I think the bow and arrow is going to be the answer here, guys. If I get too close, he just blows up anyways, and he doesn't even die from it. Oh, how do I do this? Okay, I've been thinking about it for a little bit, and I noticed that if you put your crosshair right on the stalker, he doesn't seem to move. Like many famous monsters, the stalker has a weakness. Stare down the stalker, and it is unable to move. So maybe if we get closer and just stay focused on him, we can deal some sword swipes. <laughs> there we go. Perf well... Oh yeah, look, he didn't move. Although we're taking some pretty severe damage here, we might have a chance to kill him doing it this way. Uh, well, maybe we just stick to our bow and arrow instead. There we go, that feels way safer. Oh, well it did. <laughs> oh, come on. Dude, how do I? <sighs> Finally a moment to breathe. I'm gonna get you this time. Okay, we figured out the strategy. It's kind of stuck in a lock right now, teleporting between two spots. I have a feeling this is gonna be what gets us to finally take out the stock. Yes! There we go. And what is that drop about? Oh, there's another one. Take him out quick. Actually, wait. No, let's just get the drop. I don't want it to blow it up. That thing looks sweet. Grab it quick. Now escape. Get out of here. After overcoming the many obstacles of the stalker, players will get an eldritch powder, another worldly gunpowder. Okay, Eldritch Powder is what we have here, huh? Curious about this. It's got faces on it. Let's see what this stuff's made of, huh? Eldritch Powder can summon a totem that stuns nearby mobs, or we can make barrels that will kill mobs when attacked? I gotta see what that means. Also, what's up with this crafting table? I think we, like, broke it by giving it the power of souls? Anyways, hello, cow. You, uh, ready to die? Eldritch Powder first. Let's see what this thing does. Ooh, look at this guy. Wow, turn to the dark side or something? Eldritch powder they can use to let the player become a monster themselves as they inflict other mobs with a stunning darkness or maybe developed a bad habit look at all of that it looks like they're stuck in place wow off of one dust betsy look nice oh we can even shoot it too hold on this powder is wild stuff i gotta see about this barrel though that's what i am looking forward to place you down and hit Whoa, nice growing animation. Okay, but what am I doing here exactly? Well, the cows seem to be into it. They're staring it down. Or maybe they're just frozen from the powder. Anyways, let's try and open it, huh? What do we have inside? Oh, it, <laughs> what? In a dish, they can craft and use a powerful eldritch barrel to grief players, scarily take out huge groups of mobs with traps, or simply do what a creeper does best and blow something up. How'd that even happen? How am I supposed to open it in survival mode? Wait, can I try maybe at full health? No. How about we try in creative mode instead? All right, Betsy's. Never mind what's about to occur. You don't need to worry your little cow brains about it. Just check out this barrel, okay? It's not gonna hurt. Also, I'm known to lie from time to time. <laughs> the destruction. Honestly, it just does not get old. Um, I don't know how I'd use it in survival, but you know. <laughs> So who won, the stalker or the creepier? Let us know in the comments below and also feel free to suggest what mob we should have our developers battle over next.